today we are going to implement the breadcrumb in react js using and design so you can see you can see i have already implemented here first i will i will show the demo of the application so you can see the breadcrumb is implemented using the ant and design okay so if you are on home page then and there is no point to to make it clickable again if if you are on other page and if you want to go to home page you can make you can click on breadcrumb and if you are clicking this way like home also you, you can go on news as well so i have used the and design to implement this breadcrumb in react so this is the first one i have used for creating the breadcrumb so you can refer this official doc and uh, okay let's jump to vs code so before jumping into the vs code uh, you, you have to install the two packages uh, antd and react router dom this is ant and design and this is react router dom so react router dom is used to work with the links and use location a hook which is required to implement the breadcrumb and i'm not going to discuss about the styling and the header part so we will be only focusing on the breadcrumb part okay so let's get jump into vs code Uh, um, and design you have to import red crumb. So breadcrumbs you need from and design. Okay. Let us port. Okay, so now what we need here we need to first need the current location. So you can use use location hook which is provided by React Router DOM. And we need our breadcrumb as well. So in location, we'll have the path name. So we are de destructuring the path name. this path name is different it will contain the array of path so whenever whenever we are getting the path path basically this one i'm talking about this one path new slash angular so here whenever it it, it finds the slash it will store into the array so we need to use filter so that will it will store into the array now 
we will return take a div Dot length greater than zero. Then, then basically, I will redirect to home page. Means if if we are already on other page like news about or contact then we want to navigate if you user want to navigate then we are allowing to navigate to the home page if if user on the home page then there is no point to navigate so i will simply put um, so the first route is hard coded. Now I will save. Rest of route will be not hard coded. Okay. Uh, we will store all the route where we want to route basically. We have to also check if the user is on last page. So there is no point to provide the link. It's last page then we won't attach a link to it we will simply put the name if it's not last page then then we are going to place a link something wrong happened here
and you can return the function in fragment. Let's see whether it is working or not. Okay, something wrong with the export import. Okay. That's not the mistake. Okay, so you can see we already we implemented the breadcrumb in React using and design. So it is working as expected. We click here or here or here, it will work for all scenario. So if user on object, then there is no point to make it. Uh, clickable that's why I, I didn't put the link that's why I have a ternary condition here if it's more than one path then we are going to navigate to home if, if it's not then means the user is already on home page the same thing is apply on for last one if user is like on angular page the last then there, there is no point to make it clickable so that's why this this logic is there okay so um, after in, after installing the two packages like and design you have to install this two package and design and react router down to work with the breadcrumb and this, this, this is the header part where we we have our all navigation like home about contact in the news we have react angular and we and we are using them to redirect and in app js we are wrap the comp component with the browser router so all the components should have the router and we are placing the breadcrumb above the route all route so and after installing the end then you have to uh, use this you have to import the ant css if you don't import the ant design css then the ant design design will not work okay so and in header i have used custom css to look little bit little bit nice okay but I won't explain all the CSS because uh, we are focusing on breadcrumb. One last piece is missing in this breadcrumb. Uh, we have to make the first letter uppercase. So how we are going to do this is one line code. To an accept a string, and since it's a one line liner, then we don't have to explicitly write the return keyword. So we can use, we can wrap name with the capital I. So now our first letter is capital I also. This one is hard coded and the rest is not hard coded. 
Now you can see the breadcrumb is working using add design. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any doubts, then then you can write in the comment section.